I'm not 100% sure if I can show it on screen. So real quick, let's just say that by chance I had access, early access to a Samsung Galaxy S6 um, prior to release. This is, um, all, this is all hypothetical? This is all hypothetical. Um, and we can go with the, uh, a lot of this stuff has already been talked about. Um, but I will say that hands down, the battery life is absolutely amazing. Um, mm-hmm. I am on day two. And keep in mind, I'm not a big phone talk person. Um, I'm sitting at 72% without a charge. And it didn't even get fully charged uh, yesterday. Um, the other thing is obviously running the newer version of Lollipop. I think it's running 502, um, which after using it on my Galaxy Nexus 7 as well, um, Lollipop is definitely the way to go from a speed and memory issue um, point of view. The, the tweaks that Samsung has made to the phone, I am not a huge touch whiz um, person, but I will say they've tried to bring it back to the roots of Google and what, what they had envisioned for Android. Um, the one thing that I did find surprising is that the obviously the back doesn't come off, no removable battery, no ability to add storage. Um, coming from the iPhone world, it's not a big deal for me. Um, I know that Dutters also did a review of, I think it was a Note 4, or one of the Galaxy, she had a larger Galaxy type. Was device. it the one that she was um, borrowing for a period there? Yeah, and yeah. I think, I think it was, was an S five, Note three or Note four. She got at Best Buy. I think she ended up giving it to her mom, maybe, or taking. I can't remember what she ended up doing. I with think it, she but, traded up to the uh, iPhone six. Yeah, and, and the cam- and it was due to camera lag. I will say mm-hmm. the camera on the device is extremely snappy. Uh, no pun intended. Um, I actually prefer to use the Samsung Galaxy camera, um, which, hold on one second. Oh, he's walking this away. Is, uh, this is excellent. This is very timely. Um, is this device? I'm actually trying to get my mom to upgrade right. her phone finally. So, <laughs> Which is this device right here. So if you're familiar with what a Samsung oh, right. device looks like. Yeah. Um, I think I've reviewed this on the show. Yeah, for um, the 21X the... optical zoom is phenomenal for pretty much everything you do. And the other thing is it actually takes fairly really good pictures for a non-digital SLR type device. Um, now, now that's a, it, it, for those on audio, what are you holding there? I mean, it, looks, it basically looks like a camera. But yeah, it looks an... like a camera. It feels like a camera. It works like a camera, mm-hmm. um, and it's booting up right now. The difference is the device actually runs Android, um, so it's a full touchscreen back with your typical um, zoom, camera zoom on the front, uh, flash type device. Um, so coming from this device and being familiar at least with you know how Samsung works and their their touch with UI and all that kind of stuff, um, the Galaxy device is not. The new S6 is not far off. I think where the S6 makes the difference, or, or at least for me, what made a difference is I'm a huge geek and I like the Avengers, and they have mm-hmm. they now have built-in theme capabilities and a theme store, so <laughs> you can actually download an Avengers theme, which updates the background, the wallpaper, sounds, um, your icons, all that kind of stuff. So the 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 other thing that I've noticed, and and I actually asked someone with an S5 today if their device had it. Um, the device has a built-in infrared on the top, and it actually comes with the Peel app. So you can actually quickly configure the device to control every media, console, anything that takes infrared in your house. Um, it also can tie into Antenna or any of the cable companies to tell you you know, what's going to be on or what other people are watching, wow. and which I thought was interesting. And the cool thing is coming from I have the Logitech Harmony Link in the house in the um, living room, which allows you to control everything from your phone. So we don't have a we don't have remotes. We have our phones, and the Logitech knows what device is currently active, and you can quickly hit macro buttons um, to do different tasks. Um, the same type of thing kind of exists in the Peel app. The difference being is there's no extra device. Um, and Peel actually has a setting where you can set it up by room. So obviously the Logitech links in my living room, the, all the TVs throughout the rest of the house, um, 
or I'll have remotes unless I had a Logitech link in every room. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, with the, the, the Galaxy S6, you can take it with you. Um, so that makes it where you have a remote everywhere you go. Um, what could be interesting is, is then also anywhere you take it that has a TV, you could then end up program it, programming it to remote control that TV as well. Um, but all said, I mean, I'm, I'm really, really liking the device. I, I have to play around with some other stuff like the fingerprint sensor. Um, I, I haven't got a lot of time to play with and, and some of the, some of the other built-in apps. Um, the one thing I will say, it is heavy on pre-install apps, um, like the Microsoft apps. We, we heard last week that Microsoft was partnering with a